Hey guys, it's Antonio Magliano coming to you from IMVU. What we're going to do today is we are going to learn how to do some trigger music. Basically, you take a song, cut it into 10, 12 second, 10, 12, 14 second intervals. And then in the game, you trigger by typing the associated word and number letter with it. And I'll get into that right away. So what you need to do... You need to download Audacity, and once you have Audacity, you also need to pick your MP3 file that you want. I also create another folder that has the exact same name as the song does, artist and everything. And then, because as you get going, in the beginning it's not going to seem like much, but I have a database, I'll show you that, of all the songs that I've done. So inside here, everything's arranged by alphabetical order. Everything's perfect and crisp by name of artist and the name of the song. So these are all the songs that I've done. And if you don't start it now, once you get down the road, you're going to have a mess on your hands. So I have all mine in one spot. So anyway, download Audacity, get your MP3 file, make your folder. And then the other thing we're going to do real quick is make trigger art for... The song so I just have a basic platinum edition of uh, some kind of card reader so I just open that up and then inside of it I have a template that I use for everyone every one of mine looks the same when you're in the catalog this way it looks uniformed and it looks branded I call it Magliano music so anyway here is the name of the artist the PRO 1 through 16 is the trigger, so when people trigger the song, it's going to be PRO 1 and PRO 2, POR 3, and so on. And then the name of the song. So you should create, this is actually what they will see in the shop. This is your catalog picture. And that has to be at 100 by 80, which I already did over here. It's a very small looking, see how tiny that is. But if you right click on it in your software, you go to details, it says 100 by 80. And then you also, what I do is I create a, a big one at the bottom so people could actually read it and see it. And that one is this one. I put it in the ad so people can see how the song is. And then if you go to that one, that one's actually 825 by 638, 300 DPI. So these are all the things that I'm gonna need now let's get to the fun part actually cutting the song so we open up audacity and there it is it looks kind of confusing but it's pretty easy uh it took me a couple days to get really familiar with everything and now that i've done so many songs i can fly through it but i'm going to try to go slow for you guys so the first thing you want to do is file you want to import that audio file which is normally down the list. Here it is. So we're going to double click it and it's going to import that song into Audacity. And there's your timeline. The first thing I always do is I clean up the front of the song and the back of the song. The other thing too is whenever you download a song, sometimes you, if you download the official, official uh, video of the song, a lot of times it'll have video inside of it or a spot with stories and stuff so make sure that you have a clean version of the song all the way through there's not no cut off of you know somebody saying whatever or story so anyway once you have that clean version and you're just going to clean up the front and the back of it so here we are we're all the way at the front of the song we're just going to hit the green for start okay. we're going to go back and do it again so that's good. We don't have to mess with the front of the song. So now we're going to go to the back of the song where it ends. You just click on wherever you want to start it at. You see the black line. And you hit start. Enough. And this is the song going out. So normally that's good enough. Because when you're triggering, when it gets that low, people start cheering anyway or whatever. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this. You have to le left click where you want to cut. So... From about there to the end you see how it's in white we're going to go up to edit and then click cut and took that out of the song 
So now it's gonna end. Now it's gonna end. Nice and clean and crisp. So that's it. So now you have the fronts clean, the back clean, and the rest is clean. Now what you want to do is highlight it, and you're going to see total seconds down here. 191 for this whole song. So what I do now is I take out my calculator. And people do this different ways, and I this is the best way, I think. If you take 191 seconds and divide it by, basically you want your, you want your triggers to be 10... Anywhere from 10 to 14 seconds long. And you want them all to be the same. So that when someone's practicing and learning the trigger, they get into a groove. If the first trigger is 10 seconds and the next one's 15 and then the third one's 12, it gets too confusing. So I always make sure all my triggers are the same. Except for the very last trigger. If, it's, if it doesn't work out exactly like 12 seconds is 16 triggers or whatever... And that's not going to happen very often. So the last trigger takes the hit if it's a couple seconds short or a couple seconds long. Because once you trigger that last one, it's not going to matter. You're not going to have to trigger after that anymore. So so we'll take the 191 seconds and divide it by, I usually start with 12. And that gives us 15.9 triggers, which you can't get any closer than that unless 13... Let's try 13, but I doubt, doubt that's going to work. So 191 divided by 13, yeah, that brings it lower. So, okay, so basically we have 191 divided by 12 seconds each will give us 15.9 triggers. So this song is going to have 16 12-second triggers. So now what we do, like I said, everything's clean and crisp. Now you come down to here while it's highlighted in white and you put in the seconds. So we're going to do 12 second increments. So zero, one, two, you see it changed it down here and it brought up this, um, this thing, I forget what you call it, but anyway, it shows that's where it's going to, that's your first trigger. So once you have that highlighted the right amount of seconds, then it's just going to be short code, shortcuts. And you do, the shortcuts for this is control C, N, V. And then with your controlled held down, you hit shift E. What that's going to do is going to bring up a folder. And what I do is I always find the folder that I'm looking to put it into. And, you, and it's the one I did before. But for now, I'm just going to have to put it on a desktop because I already did the folder. Yeah, there it is. G easy. See, and you can see that has the 16 in it. So like I said, we're just going to put it on the desktop for now. Anyway, so if you have the right folder selected that it's going to go into, you do the triggers. Now we have 16 triggers. They're going to be 12 seconds each. Um, and then you name it. When you name a trigger, it's normally two or three letters with a number. You can do whatever you want. You can do longer words. I always try to keep it simple. So when people are triggering, it's easier for them to type quick enough to be able to get the trigger off in the right amount of time. But, I mean, people that are good can do fast anyway. But anyway, so we would name this Pro 1 because the name of the song is Provide. So usually it has something to do with the... Now, if the, na if, if the name of the song was Heart or Love, I might just type the whole word, but... Anyway, you can do that. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. You can put your name. It doesn't matter. So the file name for all these triggers are going to be Pro. Pro 1, Pro 2, Pro 3, and so on. And then save as type. It has to be an OG file for it to work in the game. So these are all the different files. Just make sure you have OG selected. It'll remember that from now on. You won't have to keep doing that. And then here you have your quality. 1 through 5 is the highest. 5 is what I've always used as the highest. The higher the number, the bigger the file. So on IMVU, you're only allowed a, a two megabyte file for the whole song. Normally, if the song is longer than four minutes, you're going to have to make two different boxes. And then you split the song up and you put one in one box, one in the other. I try at all costs not to do that. So you can lower your quality. And I never go below a three. I always use five, four, or three. 
Five is the best quality. Four is really good. Three is decent. And then if you get to two, I mean, you can kind of squeeze it in there, but sometimes you'll hear like a little bit of distortion and stuff. So I always try to go at four or five. And from doing it for a long time, I know the song is a little over three minutes long. We're probably going to have to go with a four. So this tells you up here, it tells you you're going to say we're going to save it on the desktop. But like I said, normally you're going to save it into that folder. But anyway, so save on the desktop. The file name is Pro 1. Save as type is an AUG file, and we're going to save it as a 4. So we hit save, and then it's going to highlight here. It's actually another page that popped up. So we're going to exit out, save the project, no. And then there's back to my song with the trigger that we just did. So we're going to go up here and hit edit and cut. And it's actually going to cut that out of the song. So now because we already did it down below, you just got to type 12 again. You see down here, I just typed in 12 and it brings up another 12. This is the next section of the song. So now we're going to do our same control C and V and then control shift E will open up the box to where it's going to go. And we're just going to name this one pro two. It's saved as an AUG file. It's saved on four and it's saved on the desktop. So you hit save. And now that just put another one on the desktop. I'll show you. There's Pro 1. Pro 1 and Pro 2, which like I said, I already did this, so I have them all in there. I just wanted to show you how I do that. But it takes, you know, a little while to do it all. Okay, so we're going to bring, well, after we do the second one, same thing, exit out, hit no. And then it'll go back to where it was before. So now we're going to hit edit and we're going to cut that portion out because we already did it. Same thing, type 12. It's going to bring that 12 seconds down there. Now we're on the third one. So you just hit control C and V. Control shift E brings up the box. And now we're going to name this Pro 3. It's just going to save it to the desktop. The name of the Pro 3, AUG and 4 is always going to be there. Just hit save. And then... It brings up the yellow box and then we hit X. Save, nope. There's our third one. We're gonna edit and we're gonna cut that out. Let's see how the song keeps getting shorter and shorter. So now we have three on the desktop. We have one, two, three, three sections. It's the first 12, 24, 36 seconds of the song. So now we'll, I'll do one or two more and then I'll speed it up to the next section. So again, down here it says zero, you just type 12. And then you hit control, C and V. Control shift E will bring up the box. Now we're gonna type in tro pro four. And again, it's gonna save on the desktop as an AUG file as a four, we hit save. Exit out, hit no, just saving it. There's our fourth one, edit and cut. It's gonna shorten the song. We'll do one or two more. So here's 12. Control C and V. Control Shift E. Pro 5. Save. Exit. Save the project. No. And then we're going to edit and we're going to come up here and cut that out. And then we're going to type 12 so that it brings the seconds back up. Control C and V. Control Shift E. And now we're going to do Pro 6. And we're going to hit Save. And that's pretty much... You just go through the whole song like that. So now we're going to hit No. And there's the song again. Edit. Cut. So instead of going through and, you know, taking up 10 more minutes of your time for this part, I'm going to exit out of here. And I'm going to show you. Here's the first... Here's the six that we just did. And remember, these are 12 second increments, and there's 16 of them. We did six of them. So I'm going to delete these off my desktop now that I already have them. Okay, so when you get done, you have your audacity. Then you have the actual song. When I get done, I check this to make sure as long as there's nothing else in there, there's only, this is the one I had done already, Pro 1 through 16. That's all that's in this uh, folder. You right click it and hit properties to make sure 
the size is not more than two. It can't be over 2.00. This one's only 1 1.62, so we're right there. We're good. And then I take the song, and I have another folder I just put all my new music into. Um, okay, so there's your folder. It's got the name of the song, or the artist's name of the song inside of it. It's got your triggers. And then what I showed you before is the trigger art. You go through and you, oh, I have this uh, template that I use right here. So I changed the name of the song, the artist, Pro 1 through 16, so people know what the triggers are and the name of the song. Then you want to save that. Um, two different sizes you're going to need, unless you don't, you, you don't have to do the, the bigger one if you don't want to, but this one is what the catalog is going to show, that little, this one has to be 100 by 80. And then the other one that I use for, you'll see when we when we put it in there later. The bigger one is so people can actually see it. And that's just basically for for whatever. You don't have you don't have to do that one. So anyway, so we have our folder and now, since I know that all the triggers are not over 2.0, I put these inside that folder so that all this stays together. Okay, so this one is ready to go into the game. So now what I'm going to have to do is open up my browser. And I have this saved under IMBU. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think it would be best if I make a second video. Um, but that's it for the, for the audacity and everything. You have your folder and you have everything that you're going to need when you go to IMVU. They're AUG files 1 through 16. Then we have our actual ad, catalog ad. And then, and then I, 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 I name them like that so that I know what they are. But provide HTML is basically my advertising one. Probably should have named that pro ad. Huh. Anyway. So that's it for now. I'm going to uh, do a few things and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put that into IMVU and you'll be all set to go. If you like what you see, like my videos, subscribe. I'm going to be bringing a lot of content for IMVU. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments below or you can always email me. All my information's on my YouTube channel. And thanks guys for listening. Bye.